Hey everyone, Thanix over here. So this will be a showcase on my current setup on my Serena teapot. Uh, don't be too harsh, okay? It's not yet done. So let's get to it. First we walk here from the bridge and let's take a good look up front. That's my main building. I have uh, statues on both left and right side facing their respective uh, areas. Two on the left and two on the right. And I have a bit of a mountain range-esque appeal to my island. So let's go in. So here, let's start walking. You can see the left um, guest house, left wing, and the right guest house over there. I have two lamps over here to provide light during the evening. And there's my butler Tubby. That's Bao. So I'm going in. Once we go in, we are immediately greeted by this uh, countertop. It's like a hotel style, right? Uh, we have accenting colors here. We have green, dark brown, and a bit of blue, blue green. So guests can sit here while waiting for their turn. Uh, it would be great if we could put the character here to stay there to act as a receptionist. So, okay, down boy. So then here, let's go to the center area. This is the reception area or waiting area as well, where guests can sit down, have tea, or just casually talk. Now let's go to the first room on the right. This one. This is the office. Accenting colors of blue and brown. And that's why I chose that chair, since it has use of blue and that pot, since it has use of blue. Here, Zongli would look perfectly here. Yeah, he just fits. He fits anywhere. <laughs> okay, uh, I'd probably would add a lamp here, one desktop lamp here, to provide a bit more symmetry so that it won't be too empty. But maybe for another time. Next. We'll go here to the lounge. This is our lounge, accepting colors of blue and red. That's why we have a blue vase with red flowers here. Complements it perfectly. I prefer walking at night. To an evening time. Yeah, you could, you, could, you could appreciate the lights right here. So let's go to the kitchen. A pretty plain kitchen as well. It's like a diner esque look. It's not that refined since we don't really have a lot of options for our kitchen menu. It's quite nice as well. Sit here, wait for your order. Maybe Shangling is there. I probably add a bit more wall decker, and if they would permit us to change the actual uh, furnishing color, if we could just change this to a darker shade of brown, and also the chairs, it would be great. And let's go to my last room here, at the first floor. I initially intended to have all the bedrooms at the top floor, but since those rooms are not yet locked, not yet unlocked, so I'll just put one here for the meantime. Here. What's nice about this is I actually hid a lamp there at the back so that 
it would shine or it would provide light uh, you can see it here if I hit it there but when you go here it's gonna look really nice look okay see it's lighting up okay so let's go to the second floor yes I don't really have uh, much going at the second floor but it's decent enough uh, so. banner wall decorations and this desk over here that's so out of place but it looks so cute and so nice so refined more wants that ask I'll probably put this into the loop or Yula's room to the outside okay so you'd probably think that that's all there is to it to my main island right but actually no if you notice at the start that the mountain range on the left is a bit larger than the one on the right. There's a reason behind this. It's actually meant to hide something. A secret way. Over here. As you see at the back, we have this arc. And when you go to it, you can oversee and overlook everything from the top. Great. You also hide here, sit here with a friend or two. Uh, the mountain range is actually hiding the uh, bamboo shoots so that it, it, it won't peek on top of it. It's like a little retreat from the hustle and bustle of the main building, main building and the other islands. I wish we could just sit here. It would be great. I think. The best time to look at it here would be around afternoon time. Wait, oh, sorry, I can't sit. Can I change the time? Mm. Oh my god, I wanted to make you see what it looks like during like uh, dusk. When everything is like yellow and orange, it looks so great. Trust me, especially when you start going into this area. So, okay, let's go to my other islands. <coughs> I'm not happy with that island. It feels so out of place. Monstat buildings on top of mountains, it just doesn't fit here I have this little village <coughs> little light over there little house over here uh, so shops I originally planned to have uh, one of those tables here, but unfortunately I'm fully maxed out on this island as well. So I'll probably remove a couple of things to put my table there and probably add a tree here so that it won't be so bare. Or just anything. It's too too plain. And on towards my last island, the Monstead Ask Island. If only we could put uh, pavements and walkways, cemented floors, this would be great. Imagine if we could put those here. 
and then you could put like a fountain over here it, it's you could, the uh, potential is limitless here's my little workshop there craft shop that's the end oh wait 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 i have this little house over here the little wooden cabin and my little piglet hello hey hi love me and this is my first pet the only one that's outside hey no what are you doing i haven't unlocked the other islands yet and i'm still trust rank six mm, started like a week late on the teapot i was busy but now i'm trying to keep up the pace just prove to you that I still haven't unlocked that end of it. So that's it for me. And this smile and tell me what you think. And input is greatly appreciated. Thank you.